He wants out a baked potato! Fuck yeah! You wanna know what I look like? A potato wearing a wig. Say it with me! Fuck! Fuck yeah! You wanna know what else I look like? Gene Simmons and Ron Jeremy. <laughs> if they had a love child. Without the gift or the talent. <laughs> Fuck yeah! Fuck yeah! God damn it, you know what I just realized right now, guys? I'm ugly as shit. <laughs> you know, like... And you, you know... Whew, that intro took the wind out of me, man. I'm fat, too. <laughs> but... In my 20s, you wouldn't think it, but see, I actually used to look like a Calvin Klein model. Yeah. And then I started to get older, so I became a Target model. <laughs> and then I started to let myself go a little bit. Kmart model. And then, I really started to let myself go. Sears model. And then I just lost it all and became a Payless shoe model. Because, man, they would pay me less than the other models. Those dicks. But also, I'm Mexican! Fuck yeah! Where are my Mexicans at? Yeah! But I'm not your typical Mexican. I'm like a Taco Bell Mexican. Yeah. Because, see, I don't really be drinking, like, Jamaicas. I be drinking Baja Blast, man. And I don't fuck with real tacos. I fuck with double deckers, yo. Extra mild saucies, please. Fuck yeah, can I get it with the fuck yeah? Fuck yeah, no, let's keep going, fuck yeah! Fuck yeah, fuck yeah! How are y'all doing today? Oh, man. You guys ever get so high that you just kind of start to think about like your past relationships? Yeah, so see, I did that shit recently. Like, and I'm not here to be like malicious or anything like that. I'm just here to address things that I thought were funny. Like, there was this one, dude. Her farts were so demonic. Like, like every time she'll let one out of my car, I would nearly die. I mean, I'll start choking and shit. My fucking nostrils would be on fire. Felt like I was in Chernobyl because that fart radiation made me feel like a girl like a third eye on my head. I mean, fuck. One time we were cuddling. I kid you not, dude. Like, out of nowhere, she, like, farted on my little Steve Urkel. Yeah, my dick, dude. Poor guy. I had to wash him off after that one. And then, like, to really top it all off, we went to downtown one night where she got so trashed that she Irish could bite me. And, dude, it wasn't even St. Patrick's Day. Like, isn't that some shit? So now I'm all, like, worried and shit, because I don't know where she is. I don't know if she's safe. And come to find out, she went home. Now, being the caring person that I am, I went to go check in on her. Now, see, I used to warn her about her farts in the past, and how one day, she wasn't careful, and it would backfire, and she would always be like, you're stupid, you're silly. That's not gonna happen to me, see? I'm queen, this doesn't happen to queen. See, look it, look, Mira, Mira, look it, look it. I'm queen. I'm queen. Look at that. Look at that. Does this ass look like it's gonna let out the wrong fart? Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Well, I'll tell you what. Bitch let out the wrong fart that night. Cause uh, as I opened the door to her room, I flicked on the lights. Dude, honestly, it was like she exploded everywhere. It was like this fucking grenade just went boom, like right out of her asshole. And it was like all over her. It was like all over the bed. It was all over the bed, dude. And it was like even on the walls, too. And you want to know the best part about all this, guys? I think I even saw some corn in it, too. Which was actually my corn that she stole from me earlier that day before I went to downtown where she actually could bite me. And it wasn't even fucking St. Patrick's Day. Fuck, man. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. <laughs> but, like they say, karma's a real thing. Because, see, when you steal daddy's corn, that shit will fuck you up later on. See, 
Because Daddy's Corn, which is from KFC, is uh, built for Daddy's body. Not your body, bitch. Uh, I thought that was going to work better. Fuck you guys. <laughs> uh, fuck yeah. So she's all upset the next day and everything. And you know, I had to be a good boyfriend. So I was like, oh. had to give her some really calming words. So I'm like, honey, she's like, what? Shit happens, get over it. So that ended up being the shittiest relationship I've been in. Um, so now I'm, as I'm continuing my high journey, there is this other one who didn't shit the bed, but she was a really heavy sleeper. Like, you can wake her up for anything. There could be an earthquake going on, she wouldn't wake up. Her, her house could be on fire, she still won't wake up. I don't know, like a fucking raccoon could be biting her tit off. She didn't even know what the fuck's going on. She'd probably roll over and squash the poor thing. And she also snored a lot. Now, that's totally fine. I can't judge. Who am I to judge someone for snoring? I tend to snore too, right? But on this one night, you guys, at three in the morning, I woke up to her doing this shit. So then, like, I tried to plug her nose to see if she would stop, but then she started speaking in tongues. I'm like, so what you're telling me this one shits like the exorcist and this one snores like the exorcist? I was like, god damn, dude. These bitches need Jesus. See? Now, I grew up seeing Jesus as a kid, right? Every Sunday morning, my family and I would wake up super early and we'd get all dressed up and everything and go to that one sacred place that a lot of us Mexican families go to on a Sunday morning. And for all my Mexicans and Mexicans in here, you know exactly what I'm talking about. We went to the swamp meet, man. And I would see Jesus there all the time. Except, he went by Jesus. And he blessed us, all of us, with some broke-ass washing machines for a hundred bucks. Because I'll tell you what, if you paid a hundred dollars for a broke-ass washing machine at swamp meet, it's not going to work. And even, even if you believe you can fix it, still, not going to be fixable. Eventually, it just becomes like, I don't know, a new hide-and-go-seek spot for your 10 kids. Now, if it was me, and I had a broke-ass $100 washing machine from Swamp Me, and if I had a pet cat, it'd be a timeout spot for the cat. See, because I put the cat in there, I'll close it, so make sure he doesn't escape. Now. I don't want it to be a long time out, I want it to be a quick one, so he learns his lesson. And for shits and giggles, I'll put it on a quick wash. Now, God forbid, the washer machine actually starts to work. I'll tell you what, that cat will quickly be dead. But at least, I'll have a clean pussy. Because I don't know about you guys, but I don't like playing with no dirty pussy, okay? I like my cats clean. Uh, and do you guys, uh, so for those of you in your 30s, like myself, and grew up to going to the swamp meet, did you ever notice like those boxes of condoms they would sell there? Yeah, kind of like the ones you'd be able to find at like 9 and 10 stores back in the day. They're kind of like in the checkout aisle and they're like, it said fantasy on them. Yeah, exactly. So I used to see that all the time growing up at the swamp meet. And for some reason, I'm like, I don't think that's going to protect anyone from anything. I mean, I honestly don't even think there's condoms in there. I think it's like, when you're about to have sex with someone, you guys are going to open the box and then poof, comes out a bunch of water balloons. So now you guys are like having this water balloon fight. I mean, at least you guys are still getting each other wet. I mean, maybe not the type of wet you wanted, but hey, isn't sex supposed to be fun in then? Because I don't know about you guys, but every time I have sex, I like to reward myself with 7-Eleven pizza. Yeah. 
Fucking love that shit. I love Sony 11 pizza so much, I'd rather get down on that than a chick any day. Yeah, cause like, fuck Chick-fil-A. Cause you know Chick-fil-A, they don't like a lot of people. They like people, but the people they don't like, there's a whole lot of people they don't like. And if you know the history of that, then you know what I'm talking about. And if you don't, well, then Google that shit, and then you'll know what I'm talking about. But also, because I'm a little kinky bitch, I like to put a lot of soy sauce on my pizza. Yeah. I put soy sauce on everything. 7-Eleven pizza, breakfast burritos, chili cheese fries, chili cheeseburgers, like regular cheeseburgers. I mean, fuck it, I'll even use it as lubricant too. Why not? It's 2023. I mean, hey, let me ask you guys this. If in 2023, the opportunity arose, would it be wrong of me to like, fuck a midget? I mean, right? Because I mean, you know what I learned growing up? It's okay to love who you want. And it's okay to make love to whoever you want. And you shouldn't be judged by that, right? As long as they're of age and it's not an animal, then we're good. Because if not of age, well, I'll tell you what, you're going to hell. But before you go to hell, you're going to go to prison where they'll kill your ass. And then you'll go to hell. We all know what goes on in prison. They don't like that shit. Um, now, if it's an animal, well, they're going to send PETA after you. So then, I don't know, they'll fucking send like their executioner bear, like, I don't know, fucking cocaine bear. Fucking she don't fuck around, man. She'll fuck you up. But also, like, yeah, if I made sex with a small person, I mean, can you imagine what that would look like? Like, 69ing, it would be like, your turn, my turn, your turn, my turn. And then it turns into like this workout jam video, like, boom, 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 boom. Pump up the jam, pump, pump up the jam, pump up the jam, pump, pump, pump up the jam. And then we'll celebrate with some 7-Eleven pizza and, and like a cold IPA. And also, I got hemorrhoids. <laughs> now, I got two of them, and it's pretty funny because like every time I'm on, a, I'm on a date, that was the stupidest fucking shit I've heard all day. Um, it's like I'm always on a double date, you know? Because like Chris and Liam hemorrhoids work, they're always hanging out. And if we're like about to have sex, well, the hemorrhoids brothers like makes it like an orgy because they're always ready to come out and play. <laughs> now, going back to the snoring exorcist, see, believe it or not, we shared some good times together. I'm not gonna lie. We shared actually one very beautiful time. Like this one time, I eat an edible and I was coming back from a film festival. So I get to her house, and that shit hit me hard, dude. And she's, I'm all paranoid, so she's like terrifying me because she's like trying to karaoke punk and metal. And she's all on my face. And I'm building like a pillow wall to protect me. But then we like start having sex out of nowhere. And now, I have the munchies. So I start licking her back. And then I flip her over and I start going down on her. And she's like, yeah, you like that, daddy? And I'm like, yo, girl, this is the best roast beef sandwich ever. <laughs> and then she's like, you want some soy sauce with that? And I was like, yeah. So he used that shit as lubricant. I made an orgasm. And right when we were done, he spoke. And we looked down, and he's looking up at us. And we're smiling like. And with those oh so famous words, he's like, did I do that? Thank you guys so much. Dominic Lima, everyone. I don't think he wants you to lynch him after that set. His motherfucker ran out. Oh, shit. I'm out of here.